there's a level of commitment here because so many of us are firefighters. Their job is to pick up our equipment, go into a burning building, try and put it out. We know that we're going to be put in harm's way and that these products very well may bring us home safe to our family. And to a large extent, the only thing that's in between the fire and them is our nozzle. A lot of little kids dream of becoming a firefighter. Clyde McMillan turned it into a lifetime commitment. I saw my dad's passion for this fire, for firefighting and for people and his integrity in dealing with everybody. And uh, it really convinced me that nothing was worth having if it wasn't worth having with integrity. The act of putting water on fire, two fundamental elements of nature, sounds simple. Clyde McMillan learned firsthand that it isn't. As a volunteer fighting fire at Standard Oil Company in 1955, he nearly died when his primitive nozzle failed to protect him. During that fire, there was an explosion of three million gallons of naphtha that my father was applying water to with a smoothbore nozzle. And when the uh, tank exploded, they were unable to go to a fog pattern. And so my dad ran from the fire and he was burned um, third degree down his back and legs and arms. And um, as the story goes, I was told he was the most severely injured to survive the fire. Clyde McMillan recovered and kept fighting fires. He also kept studying how best to fight them. One day, he sketched an idea on a napkin that would rewrite firefighting history. Everyone knows the story with a napkin. Everybody knows that story. I don't care if you've been here one month, you know that story. On the napkin, there was a new solution, an automatic fire nozzle that could regulate water flow. Clyde McMillan turned that idea into Task Force Tips, a company that would become known worldwide for innovative firefighting solutions. We build very innovative equipment. We build things that hold up, things that are, have rugged dependability, and they will outlast our competitors' products many times, yet still continue to perform. constantly trying to, to, to come up with new ideas or, or come up with new ways of doing things. We're constantly the innovators out there in our industry and by doing that you put yourself in a unique position as a company to be the front runner and be the one that everyone's chasing. We're never looking over our shoulder. Never. The company took its first order in 1970 and processed shipments from Clyde and Betty McMillan's home. Today, what still drives the company's commitment to excellence is real-world experience built on its founders' firefighting traditions. It's kind of like when you go in that conference room for the first time, you still see Clyde and Betty's pictures over the fireplace. You see that napkin on the wall. Having employees who embrace the founders' family legacy is just one way this company stands above the rest. We have so many firefighters involved in the company. Um, I was a fireman for 31 years, uh, Rod's a fireman. Uh, we have probably about 20% of our employees are involved in fire departments. Task Force Tips is a global leader in firefighting water flow technology, producing equipment used in every stage of water delivery for customers around the world. It applies the latest technology to everything from design to production. Each product is laser engraved with a serial number, then wet tested before being shipped. And service is a top priority. Calls are answered 24 hours a day, a valuable benefit for international customers. And repairs and inquiries are turned around within a day. We generally give a question to TFT and even with the time frame, eight hours difference between us and we, uh, between you in America and us in Durban, South Africa, we get an answer before we go home. So the, by the next day, the customer's got the answer, and it's generally the answer he's required. I'm flowing right around 100 gallons a minute. Because building relationships is an important part of doing business. Okay, I've got my selection set at 30. Task Force Tips brings its distribution partners, domestic and international alike, to company headquarters for hands-on training that involves company employees. If this had been paint, you'd have chips. And it has a unique distribution system. 
Most of our sales distribution is set up on an exclusive basis. We like to protect our sales partners and all their efforts that they do in advertising, sales calls. A lot of time and effort goes into particular sales. We have a mission statement with our channel partners or our distribution partners that says that we will continually build a very profitable selling environment, an environment where these people can make a living, have innovative products, have brand new things that they can take to the fire chief on a regular basis. Task Force Tips prides itself on what it calls customerization, modifying products to uniquely fit individual customer specifications. It's a direct response to firefighters' needs, just like Clyde McMillan did decades ago. The napkin and the history of the napkin is the ability to recognize a need, to look at it in a different way than has been looked at before, and to be able to satisfy that need and provide something in a market that didn't exist. To a large extent, that's what TFT does. We're not out to really copy somebody else's equipment. We want to make it better. We want to help the firemen to do a better job. Being small, being nimble, and meeting uh, customer satisfaction, and meeting our customers' needs is so vital. And that's part of the reason that we've been so successful. What started with just the McMillan family has grown to include sales partners, customers worldwide, and employees committed to excellence. My husband was a fireman for 15 years, so firefighting is part of, in my blood. So being able to build firefighting equipment for these fire departments, it's just, it's just, it feels like family, and it feels like all the fire departments out there around us, just one group connected. Once upon a time, Clyde McMillan had a vision his company would produce 50 nozzles a week and no one in his family believed it. Today, Task Force Tips produces that in a single hour. I get asked all the time, what would my dad think if he saw it today? Wouldn't your dad be surprised? Wouldn't your dad be shocked at how big the company has gotten? And the answer, quite frankly, surprises him because it's no. My dad knew the company had this potential. He knew it could be this big. It's just unfortunate that I can't share it with him on a daily basis. But uh, he's here in spirit every day, believe me.